Hey you guys, it's Ashton. I hope you are all having a great day. I just left work and I'm sitting at Dollar Tree about to get some bins to do some just organizing in my office. But I have had a little bit of trouble with the comments on my videos. So I've been trying to reach out to someone, I'm not gonna say the name yet, um, who won my 500 subscriber giveaway. But first I wanna thank you all so much for subscribing and commenting, um, sharing the type of videos you love to see. I do have a little bit different of a video that is about to play. I hope you guys enjoy it. But first, drum roll please. That didn't really sound like a drum roll. Anyways, Curly Q Plans. Congratulations, you are the winner of my 500 subscriber giveaway. I don't know if you got my comment or not. Um, I have put it on there several times and for some reason, it is not letting me comment on any of my videos right now. So if you guys know why it would be doing that, please let me know um, because I've tried everything I could think of and that I have looked up online. So, um, but yes, Curly Q Plans, thank you so much, congratulations. I will leave my email down in the description box. Please send me an email um, and we will get all the shipping information together and we will get you your prizes to you. Um, but so let's go ahead and get into this next video. It is a Scentsy video. If you've never heard of Scentsy, please stick around and watch it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day. Okay. Hey you guys, it's Ashton and welcome back to my channel. So I have got a huge Scentsy haul for you guys. Well, I say huge. It's my first order, so to me I think it's huge. So um, I had several people order from me and if you are one of those people, thank you so much. If you don't know what Scentsy is, Scentsy is a wickless candle company is how they kind of started out. They have warmers that you'll see a few um, when I do the unboxing that there's no flame. It has either a heating element or a light bulb that warms the wax. The wax is cruelty free. It is safe around kids, animals, anyone around it. Um, the warmer also heats up the wax to a temperature that it sets off a fragrance but it will not burn you. So it is the safest way to have a nice fragrance and smell inside of a home, a bathroom, in your car, anywhere. Um, and they started with a warmer and now they have a body line, they have a laundry line, a cleaning line. Um, then you also have your fragrances, your waxes, um, things to put in your car, uh, just several different types of things. So I have joined the Scentsy team. I am under my friend Hannah Richardson. Hannah, if you're watching, thank you for letting me join you. I cannot wait to start this journey. And this was my launch party order that we put in. So we're just gonna unbox it. Thank you to anybody who ordered and let's get started. So I don't, okay, I can't pick up this box. I can, but, oh, okay. Like, it's a big box. It is fairly large. Um, I have seen some some unboxings that were like huge, and eventually I want to get there. But right now, to me, this is pretty good, and I could not do this without everyone that ordered. Literally, I did not expect to hit my goal for the launch party, and we exceeded it. So thank you, really, thank you so much to everybody who ordered. This is probably not safe how I'm opening this box. Let me do it away from myself. I'm trying to do it left-handed. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put this box on the floor. So if anyone is interested, um, if you have not heard of Scentsy and you would like to get more information, please either um, email me. I'll have my email down below. I will also have my website. You are welcome to shop anytime. I can put in orders anytime. Um, or if you'd like to join my team, it is great. Um, I will be sharing my Scentsy story at some point on this, oh, in a video. 
But I just got this order in. I really want to get it out with it being my first order. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that done. Here's a packing list. Tons of paper. They were not kidding when they said Scentsy packs it great. Oh, I see it's some car bars. Whoa, what is that? Ah. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get as much of this paper out as I can. <sighs> okay, so we are going to start out these. Uh, we just got some light bulbs here, two packs of light bulbs. Um, then I also have these Scentsy postcards that will be going out. So anyone that's interested in getting one of these every month, please let me know. Um, you can leave me a comment or email me. Um, what will happen is... If I can get them out. I also purchased these stickers. So these stickers are scratch and sniff of different scents. I got prickly pear and agave, which is one of the um, best sellers in my opinion right now in the spring and summer. I just started, but I love it. And a lot of my customers also love it. I also got the pina colada cha cha, which is a great summer fragrance. If you like like pineapple, citrusy smells. And then the do we or don't we. And honestly, I have not gotten a good whiff of this one, so I'm ready to see how it smells. Um, but these are the three, oh, I just picked up just the clear thing. These are some of the scents. I have two more that will be a surprise, but they are in a different room that will go on the front of these cards. You'll be able to smell them. Um, kind of get an idea of what scents you like. And if you'd like to place an order, all of my information will be on the back. So that is what these are. They are just the Scentsy Classic Curve stickers that smell like whatever scent they are. And then the postcards. Okay, so this is what I, like I'm so excited about all of it. But everyone has talked about the Scentsy Car Bars. This is Laura, if you're watching, hey girl. Thanks for telling me all about your Scentsy Car Bar. I have one in Aloha Citrus. Oh, I cannot wait. The Blueberry Cheesecake. And if anyone watches Angela, oh, I'm not sure what her last name is. Anyways, I will leave her name and her channel down below. Blueberry Cheesecake is one of her absolute favorites in the Scentsy Car Bar, and I 100% trust her with all of her suggestions because we seem to like a lot of the same scents. And I just know this is going to be great. You can hang it in your mirror. You can hang it anywhere, but these were made to hang from your rearview mirror in your car. They last about 30 days, sometimes longer, sometimes a little shorter if the scent is lighter, but you will never want to go back to just a normal, tree or what you usually put in your car this is what you'll want so i also have a mystery man scent and a bonfire beach which i have heard a lot of people say that this is like has a marshmallow scent to it and i haven't smelled the car bar i smelled the sample or the tester and it somewhat has a marshmallow scent but sometimes you just really have to get it like get the product in your hand to be able to get a good whiff of it. I'm definitely gonna try it out. I think it's gonna be, I think it'll be a good one. Then we have got several scent circles. So these serve the, these serve the same purpose as the car bar, but you can hang them at a lot of other places too. So you can hang these scent circles in your car. You can hang them in closets, in rooms, put them in bags, really anything you want to do with this, you can do it. Um, these don't last as long as the car bars, but they are a little bit cheaper and they look just as nice. So if you want have something you're wanting to just try out or you don't know what scent you want, you don't want to pay for a full wax bar or a car bar, definitely try out the scent circles.
anyways, I will leave it on the screen. I, my mind is going blank right now. Um, it's literally like it's 1020 at night and I was just so excited to do this unboxing. So I wanted to show you all the products. So I have a Honeymoon Hideaway sugar which i have not smelled but i have seen it in multiple um scentsy consultant videos you can't smell it through the plastic i don't know why i keep doing that just trying to see if i can get a smell of it i am ready to try that one out and then i also got two mystery man and all of these products are not mine let me just say that um they are from an order some of them are mine but a lot of these are, are some of my friends family customers that wanted to order Scentsy has also uh, partnered with Disney to bring a Disney line of Scentsy products. And what we have here are the Cinderella Happily Ever After Scent Circles. So it has Cinderella there on the front. Super cute. If you are a Disney or Princess fan, that is right up your alley and they smell amazing. Then, this is one of the things I'm most excited about. This is the Scent Pack. Um, I think this summer is when these will come the most in handy, and I'll tell you why. Not just this summer, but if you have kids that play sports, if you have kids uh, that carry a gym bag, or if you carry a gym bag, or you travel a lot, or you just want your purse or bag, gym bag, baseball bag, soccer, ballet, whatever type of bag it is, you can put this in here. And it lasts up to like three months. This one pack does. Okay, so you cannot beat that. And it always smells good. And if it's starting to lose its scent, kind of shake it up a little bit and you'll get another whiff of it. I got the scent Blue Grotto. And I love the texture in this. And that's why I got it in the Scentsy pack. Um, but it definitely would be great for a ball bag. Because I played softball and I was a cheerleader in high school. And my softball cleats and my glove Oh my goodness, my bag smelled terrible. And I like would wash it, I would take my cleats out as soon as I got home and my glove, it did not matter. It smelled awful. So I wish I would have known about these back in high school, but that is okay, I know about them now and I can share them with anyone. So definitely get your hands on one of those if you have someone that plays sports and carries a gym bag. All right, so then we have got, I think this is going to be our wax. I have a, another box down in here. Did I? Okay. Is there anything on the other side? No. Okay. <laughs> I was just picking it up. I guess uh, if it had my address, I was just going to show you. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells so good. I have never been so excited about starting something in Sissy. I love it. Okay. Let's tip this upside down, and I hope things don't come falling out. Oh. All right. Well, it's a bag. It's just one bag. My office looks awful. Just an update, um, we are waiting on the appraisal for the house, then we will have our file sent to the underwriter, and we should know sometime next week whether we're getting the house or not. Oh my goodness, y'all, I wish you could smell what, what this smells like. That is so loud. Woo, ice pack. Someone mentioned this in a video that they sent ice packs. What do y'all do with these? Once, do you just throw them away or do you keep them? Can you send it back to them? I don't know if they can reuse these. Let me know if you sell Scentsy or order Scentsy a lot, what you do with your ice packs because I'm just going to throw it in the bag for now, in the box for now. I have one, two, Three Camu Camu. This is a great scent. It is not too strong. I have smelled this um, heating because the lady, Miss Debbie, over our office usually heats this. And it smells so good. It's perfect for like an office space 
or just in your home. Like you could use this scent year round. I'm gonna try not to talk about all of them too much. One, two, three, four, five. I have five honeymoon hideaway and this when I got my first set of testers, um, before I ordered the big bag of all the spring and summer testers, oh, it smells so good. This was one of the smells everyone loved. It has a clean smell to it, but it also has, let me get my notebook and I will tell you exactly what this smells like. Okay, I hope the camera is still straight. I just grabbed my catalog real quick because I want to let you guys know what all of these, like the notes are in them. If you can hear something bumping the door, that is Macy trying to get in. So, Honeymoon Hideaway. Let's see what collection it was in. I thought it was a new release, but it must not be. Okay, this is a floral. So it says, Honeymoon Hideaway, escape to a secluded retreat of dew-kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. So I can definitely get the floral, but you can get a hint of the kiwi in there. There's a little bit of a fruit smell. I love it. I absolutely love it. When I was going through the testers, this is one I told everyone about and they, everyone fell in love. Obviously, we've got five of them here. <laughs> So, and let me tell you what the Camu Camu also said. It is a fruity, and it is tropical oasis of lush mandarin, Camu Camu, and passion fruit. Passion fruit, that is what I was trying to think of, not cantaloupe. I don't know, passion fruit is what I was smelling in there. Okay, so let's get to the next one. My book up here so we can kind of flip through who I need help on a smell. So I have another blue grotto and it is uh, tropical with citrus and lush botanicals. Oh my hair is sticking to this bag. Oh my goodness this may be my new favorite. It reminds me of just okay there is a boutique that I used to go in when I was younger. It's still in my, um, like a town nearby. I'm not gonna say the name of it just because privacy reasons, reasons of course, but this is what it smelled like when you went in there. This is the exact smell. If anyone can guess it, send me a message, see if you can guess it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Then we have one. Two, Shimmer. I have not smelled Shimmer yet. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I haven't got a good smell. Oh, I love that. That's very light. Like, if you have company coming over and you don't want there to be something just too strong or overwhelming, definitely. Let's, let's see what this says. Shimmer, it is a fruity scent. Uh, sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and sensational, oh, not sensational, Sensual white musk crowned with tiara of shimmering spun sugar. It's just good. I mean, it smells really good. Then, well, I have one vanilla bean buttercream. Oh, you can definitely smell... Mm, the vanilla bean in this, amazing. What is the, it's just buttercream frosting, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, it smells so good, it almost, it gives me like a hint of cake batter. Is that because the buttercream? I love it, definitely love it. Uh, we also have baked apple pie, and I've had this before, and that's exactly what it smells like. Baked apple pie. It has more of a spice to it than your normal, like, apple pie scent, but if you love warm fall scents, you will love baked apple pie. 
Okay, then I see one, the ice pack kind of melted a little bit and got on here. We have one Paradise Punch, and it smells like a fruit punch. I will tell you what the actual notes are. Paradise Punch. Oh, I know it's on here. Ooh, there it is, there it is. I was looking in the wrong section. Okay, so it is a citrus scent. It has Indian orange, sunny lemon juice. <laughs> okay, only my family will know what a ka is. <laughs> Acai berries and star fruit. I don't know really what star fruit smells like, but it's just punch. I mean like, mm. <laughs> This smells great. This is Paradise Punch. If you like smells like fruit punch, very citrusy smells, this is what you would want. Okay, and then I have one, two, three, Luna. This is just a staple scentsy scent. It smells great. Um, they've had this around for a while. If, I hope my scents don't get too high and block the camera, but I don't really have anywhere else to sit them. We're about halfway through the bag. One, two pink cotton. This was my all-time favorite out of the new testers, or the testers I got. It's very clean, and you can definitely tell the cotton smell, but when you warm it, it has a, like, a fruity fruity pink lemonade smell mixed with the cotton. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at explaining these, especially, um, this is a clean cotton with pink berries and vanilla sugar. I don't really smell the vanilla. I do get a sugary scent. And the pink berry with clean cotton, I just, I don't know, I think the vanilla is kind of hidden in there, but this is wonderful if you don't want something too strong. We have oodles of orange, which is exactly what it says. Oh, it smells just like a peeled orange. If you guys get the cuties, does anyone get those? That this is what that smells like. Then I have Two sugared strawberries. These are mine, I do believe. I don't think anyone else got one. And it smells just like I thought it would. Sugared strawberries. Has anyone ever actually sliced up a strawberry and dipped it in sugar? My, me and my dad, my sister, like our family does that. I could smell these all day long, I promise. This is the perfect time. If you want some good scents going on in your house, you just let me know and I'll hook you up, okay? So, Pina Colada Cha Cha. I talked about these earlier. The perfect, like, literally smells like Pina Colada. Coconut, pineapple, very fruity smells. Or citrusy, I guess you could say. Really good. This is definitely... Okay, sorry about that. So I had a phone call, but let's finish this unboxing. We're going through this scent bag. I have a black raspberry vanilla. This is another scent that's been around for a while. Oh, it smells so good. It smells a little bit different, warm, uh, but this is dark berries with vanilla. You get a lot of the berry scents in this. You can kind of smell the vanilla. It almost to me has like a, not a musk, but it's just not like a sugary vanilla, I guess. Smells amazing. Let me tell you, this is something I warm in my house year round. You cannot go wrong with this scent. I've never had it warming and someone be like, ew, like what is that smell? They're always like, oh, it smells so good. So if you don't know what scent to start with, there is a great one, a great one to start with. 
we have two of the Welcome Home, and this smells just like Christmas to me. I don't know if that's just me. That's all I think about is like fall, winter, Christmas. It has spices in it. Let me tell you what our catalog says it has because I could be definitely off. It just says warm and welcome with cinnamon and spices. That's what it is. It is like Christmas and just a little wax melt. Um, warm, warm, cozy Christmas. My mom's going to love this. <laughs> I think she ordered one of those. Um, I do have Farmer's Market that my aunt ordered, and it is very fresh. It is a very fresh, it's not like outdoorsy, but it's like if you're in the summer or in the spring, you raise your windows, and you just have fresh air flowing through, and you just cut your grass. Just the, like a, warm spring day when you raise your windows in your house this is what it smells like it smells really good it's clean but it's not like a cloroxy i just clean my house kind of clean it's just a fresh clean it smells great i don't know how many times i've said great in this video but everything smells great okay so everything is starting to fall around in the bag so they may be out of order we have a Sunkiss Citrus and an Apricot Vanilla. Apricot Vanilla is a big, big seller. A lot of people love this. It smells so good. And you can smell a lot of the apricot in it. And Sunkiss Citrus. Just a very citrusy smell. Love it. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to like get through this. So... It's not a forever long video. I have two more Blue Grotto, which I will be ordering more of these because I did not realize I would like it so much. We have the Prickly Pear and Agave, and I love what they did here. It's green, on like the wax is green, but the label is pink. Oh, it smells so good. This is definitely like a fresh, clean smell also, but you can smell the fruit in it as well. We have another apricot vanilla. Amazon Rain. This is available in some of our cleaning and laundry products. It is great. It's not too strong. It's one that everyone can warm in their home. Sea salt, avocado, and aloe water and cucumber. These are two, since they're not too strong, but I think will be around for a while. They're just very light, airy. Um, the aloe water and cucumber has more of a floral smell to me. Oh, but this sea salt and avocado just smells like heaven. I have another prickly pear and agave. Apple cherry strudel. I don't remember getting this one. Ooh, this is one you'll want to burn in the fall. I don't know. This might be a good like transition between summer into fall and around like the holidays. Uh, I like that. I definitely have got to try that in my warmer. Then we also have breakfast blends and I will tell you guys, I'm not a fan of coffee. I worked at a coffee shop for what almost two years and I love like I love the smell of coffee but I think I worked in there so long I kind of got tired of it I still enjoy the smell but I don't think I would burn it in my warmer all the time but some people absolutely love it this is what they burn in their house all the time that's what it smells like it's ground coffee exactly what it smells like we have strawberry taffy, which I think is part of our, is this part of our kids line? It may not be. Ooh, it smells like a strawberry Laffy Taffy. Like, that's all you need to know. Strawberry Laffy Taffy. Oh, I see the last few. So we have a clothesline, which is a very clean, airy scent. 
Smells like you just got your clothes out of the dryer and smell wonderful. And I wish they smelled like that the whole time you wore them because if so, I would have no trouble washing clothes. Then Atlantic Air. It's just like, almost to me when you're sitting out by the pool and the breeze blows and you can get a whiff of like the water. Does that make sense? I don't know. I like that. It's different, but I like it. Okay, so one of the Disney scents everyone loved was Ariel Under the Sea. And I do not remember what this smells like. I'm running out of room with my Scentsy. Ooh. That smells like shampoo. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what's in Ariel Under the Sea. Let's see. Get it? Let's see. Um, it is emerald water, green apple, and blue hibiscus. It reminds me of a Suave Kids shampoo that I used to use. Which is not a bad thing because I love it. Cinderella Happily Ever After. I also have it in the scent circle. It is a fan favorite. Smells so good. This Cinderella uh, Happily Ever After is a floral tummy. Um, it has gardenia, forget me not, and frosted lemon. I knew it. Definitely floral. You can tell as soon as you get a whiff of it. And then we have my favorite Disney one so far. Um, I love multiple ones, but Twitter Padded is my favorite Disney scent. And it is just fresh. It smells like plants and gardens and flowers and outside and clean. And it's just, mm, I love it. So Twitter Padded is Sun Kissed Meyer Lemon Morning Dew Drops and Wild Moss. I love it. So thank you. That is all of the waxes. Thank you to everyone who ordered wax because that is one of my favorite parts. Um, we also have a Live Simply um, mini warmer. I'll get it out in a second. I'm not going to unbox any of the warmers because they're not mine. Um, but I will just tell you what they are. It is the Live Simply. I will war show it to you. I will warm it up to you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm tired, you guys. We have the new Olive Bucket Warmer, Miss Jessica. I hope you are so excited because when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to need one of this. I definitely need that. It is so pretty. Oh. <sighs> And then we also have the Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. This is a pink mason jar that has Grateful, Thankful, Blessed on the front. I love it. I love it. And you guys, that is it. That is all of my launch Scentsy haul. <laughs> if I can get it out. So if you were interested, Scentsy is honestly amazing. I just started. Um... And you can ask my husband. I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. Um, I started just because I wanted some, like a hobby, but I could also earn money on the side. We are buying a house, so, you know, any extra income would help. Um, but when I started learning more about Scentsy, it really opened my eyes. And I am an animal lover. I have not always been. I've always had a heart for animals, but I haven't always had animals. Um, and I have a lab. And I love kids. And when I read the fact that the wax is cruelty free for humans and animals, I was like, oh, that is a game changer. The wax lasts forever to me. Um, if you are needing to change your wax, you just put a cotton ball in it. It'll soak it up, change it, put you some more bars in there, and you're good to go. Um, I will be sending out postcards. So anyone that wants a Scentsy postcard. Let me know. I, um, you would not have to worry about postage or anything. It will be handled. This is just a thank you from me to you and trying to reach out and have add to my customer list and my team. Um, thank you to anyone who has already ordered. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will get all of your orders to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye.